Hi there. Um, Andrew just arrived here at the Costa Rica Amphibian Research Center. Uh, we're here in the lab. Um, it's uh, nighttime right now, so it'll be a little dark. Normally in the daytime we have natural sunlight that illuminates these terrariums. Um, so I'm just going to show Andrew and you guys some of the frogs we're working with right now and kind of see a little bit of what we're doing here in the, the Costa Rica Amphibian Research Center, their captive breeding part. Um, large part of our work here is actually in the forest with, with natural breeding population stuff, but we are working a little bit with some species in captivity. So I'll show you some stuff around here in the lab. You can see here, these are rows of tanks. Uh, I can see, I can kind of open up here and kind of see a little bit. I know. This is for uh, Faga pumilio, a little, rot, little red poison frog. Uh, nighttime again right now, they're sleeping, it's up there high because it's you know, nighttime right now, but in the daytime they'd be, so they'd breed, they'd lay eggs in these different bromeliads and stuff, and lay, or they'd lay their eggs in the leaf litter and put their tadpoles in the bromeliads. And uh, this is one of the tanks. I think there's more, several tanks here. Okay, then we got more tanks on this side. These are, here we've got Ophaga granulifera, the the granular poison frog, which is just from the southwestern part of Costa Rica. Um, and in this tank here, we've got point, or glass frogs. You can see here some glass frogs up here on the glass. This particular species is Hyalina batrachium valeroy, the reticulated glass frog. It's a species from, it's a range from Costa Rica down into, uh, down into Ecuador. See their and their inside, their heart, the liver, stomach, two reticulated glass frogs. Uh, leaf there as well. mm -hmm. Back in the leaf there, you can see the. Open it up. You want to see them better? Oh, that's quite good actually. Okay. And what, what we got to have these wraps as well, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Here we got. These, this particular these ones here again the granulifers and other species from the Pacific side of Costa Rica um, from the Central Pacific down into the Southern Pacific and just crossing over the border into Panama it used to be known as an endemic of Costa Rica, Costa Rica but about 10 years ago they found a pop, some population just on the Panamanian side of the border so it's no longer a political endemic just trying to get the granulation there mm -hmm. it's difficult to focus but in fact, that's where they get their, their, you know, their specific name, granulifera, refers to the granulated skin, their dorsal skin. You see fine bumps. And this is how they sleep at night, is on the leaves. Mm -hmm. Yep. Off the so, ground. So again, now you can see here in this tank, you can see you've got these little holes in here that are drilled in. These guys will lay their eggs uh, in these little tubes, and then they'll put their tadpoles, again, into the water, into the, into the water at the axis of the bromeliads. A little group here of granulifera. Lovely tanks. These all, you've made all these yourself mm -hmm. as yep. well, haven't you? So all these tanks here we make. Got the glass and put them together and stuff, yeah. We got a pair of. Oh, wow. Pharon and Plexus. Actually, it's kind of a, it's two different species. That's a. What's that? Sachetamia abomaculata and uh, Teratoila pulverata. All right. Two different species. A little bit of confusion there, but. <laughs> Pharon and Plexus, but. It, Eggs 